So good evening and welcome to the Reston Community Center Board of Governors meeting for March 2023. The meeting is now called to board. First order of business is approval of the agenda. So moved. Second. It's been moved and second. All those in favor? Aye. Those opposed? The next order of business is approval of the February 6th board minutes. I'm going to talk in rhythm. <laughs> it's so great having a soundtrack. Mm -hmm. uh, so moved. Yeah. Second. It's been moved and second. Though. All those in favor? Aye. Approval of the minutes. Those opposed? Next. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, on the uh, the minutes? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, uh, when we go to the uh, the minutes on the first page, uh, motion number two and motion number three, um, are we confident that um, the motion was for the June board minutes? That was approved? <laughs> it was June if we're confident in that, December. that's okay, but that seems well, unlikely. Oh, wow, whoops, okay. Sorry about that. I mean, that's only fair because I kept doing the month before. I and never since since our our meeting. So, so you approve suggesting an amendment? <laughs> so <laughs> I, I, I suggest that we uh, amend the uh, motion two and motion three, the dates of that to um, uh, December, five. December five, right? Yeah. Instead of June six. Yeah. Yes. Yes. It's right in the board it's actions. Yeah. Yes, it's correct in the board actions. Uh, who, who made the motion of the second? On approval of the minutes. There we go. Yeah, so they just have to oh, accept it. It's a friendly. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Now we have to vote on that or do we no, have to? Uh, the, the, <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 no. We are voting on the amended minutes from September the 6th. December the December the fifth. February the sixth. Well, February the sixth. February the sixth. February the sixth. Yes, correct. All right. Okay. So the amended minutes of February sixth. Yes. Okay. This is interesting. The next order of business is approval of the February sixth board action. So moved. Second. Moved and second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Those opposed? Abstain. Another sustainer. <laughs> um, next order of business is the chair's remarks. Um, boy. <laughs> this, <laughs> um, I, I, I don't know what has come over me, but I am now on YouTube watching people clean backyards. Whoa. I, I have no, <laughs> I have no idea. I found, yes, I found these guys who go around, they have a, a, a <laughs> landscaping business, and one day a week they go to somebody who is about to be fined by the town, and they totally clear because he has this wonderful old John Deere ride on mower. And it's fascinating. And I find my, I say, this is stupid. Why am I yeah, doing it? <laughs> and then a, an hour will have passed, yes. It's so, pretty HGTV, right? Yeah. It's like no, it's, it's, it, it, it's just, it's a, it's a YouTuber. It's no, just no, fascinating. Find, so it's something to watch. Yeah, you can find fascinating things. Uh, I, I'm trying to. <laughs> 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 it makes you feel good because yeah, it's amazing, right? Yeah, it's something stuff. It's the kind of thing you get into after you're 80 years old. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's, the thing, it's the things that you have time for. Yeah, that's that's you're 80 years there you go. As you can sit around and watch people cut down trees and grass and whatever. I tried to find um, a um, a poem um, to because it's a uh, Women's Month, National Women's History Month, and it was really fascinating that all of the poems have something to do with inter encounters with men. Mm -hmm. 
Um, it was it was it was frustrating. Uh, the Nikki Giovanni one, who evident, evidently was is called ego tripping, was evidently recorded by um, um, De La Soul. But yeah. instead, fabulously so, by the way. Mm -hmm. so, and that's a that's a really long poem. So if you want to, if you want to read if you want to look at that, it's called ego tripping. Huh. But um, I was when I, I I said to the earlier meeting that when I came in, Heather McGee was on uh, Marketplace uh -huh. talking about the uh, her book, The Some of Us, that she's going to do another printing for younger people. And so this is a Nikki Giovanni shorter poem, My First Memory of Librarians. This is my first memory. A big room with heavy wooden tables that sat on a creaky wooden floor. A line of green shades, banker's light, heavy oak chairs that were too low or too short for me to sit in. Oh no, I'm trying to read on my, on my phone. We're um, starting over. Maybe. <laughs> My phone. Oh, well. There you Technology. go. Send it to me. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is my first memory. A big room with heavy wooden tables that sat on a creaky wood floor. A line of green shades, banker's lights, down the center. Heavy oak chairs that were too low, or maybe I was simply too short, <laughs> for me to sit in and read. So my first book was always big. In the foyer of four steps, a semicircle desk presided. To the left side, the card catalog. On the right, newspapers draped over what looked like a quilt rack. Magazines face out from the wall. The welcoming smile of my librarian, the anticipation in my heart, all those books, another world, just waiting at my fingertips. Thank you. Is that a poem? Yeah. Yes. That's Nikki Giovanni. Yeah, I know she's a good And um, Esme has been, was it, they, they had a read-a-thought in school in her class one. Huh? And so every night, no matter how tired, I read at least 20 minutes of something. Terrific. And so she, she read quite a few books. Next order of business, introduction of visitors. I was hoping we were going to meet our new employee. Our new community events director? Mm -hmm. We'll have her come in April. Oh, okay. Or to the March. She'll be here for the March 13th meeting. Oh, okay. Because I know April 3rd will be a very short meeting. Yes, that's <laughs> going to be in and out. <laughs> uh, there are no visitors, so we will have no citizen input tonight. Next order of business is the community report. The committee, I always say community, the committee reports. The first, the first is um, Mr. Bowie, the long range planning of February 6th. Long range planning on February 6th. We talked about the rental fee increases. The schedule was attached to the board minutes. We went over the slides for the community relations program policy meeting, which was held. Uh, a lot of good comments on that one, and we were able to uh, have a pretty good meeting um, with that. Uh, we went over the third quarter budget review, which was then turned into a memorandum. and move forward to the count. And with that, we adjourn. Thank you, sir. Can I do these in a group as opposed mm -hmm. to each? Yes. Can. The next um, is um, Mr. Stilson, the February 13th combined CRPP meeting. Well, this was a great meeting. How many people were there? 50? Yeah. Something uh, like that? About 50. And uh, we have a long list of suggestions, mostly about the mobile unit. And I was very pleased to see this list of suggestions in the minutes. 
Thank you for the uh, for the minutes, and uh, I'm hoping that something will come of of many of these because I thought the suggestions were good. At least they were all relevant, mostly all relevant. Yeah. And uh, I've complained previously of a lack of community participation. There was no lack of it there. And, uh, and I, was, I was very pleased with it. I don't know whether we had any uh, emails from the contacts. No, the emails we received before or after or in the context of that meeting um, are all part of the report in the... In the uh, yeah, okay. So, that was... Jane L. Hazard did send me uh, a blurb about the, the um, Virginia Fine Arts Museum, uh, their mobile program, just to yeah, uh, pass along to staff a picture of their unit and what's inside it. I was particularly interested in and uh, maybe a little surprised that uh, Tammy was there and, and Bob. And, um, I thought maybe there'd be some, I don't know, uh, complaints uh, about it, but no. Uh, actually, there were, there were no complaints about it, and good suggestions as to how it could be used. So I was very encouraged, and I think the board should be encouraged by that meeting to uh, carry on with the research and make it happen, maybe. Lisa? Okay, Lisa. <laughs> what would you like from me? Anything to add? No, no. Um, I don't think so. He, he summed it up. I think, well, let me just add this. I, I think you did that well, but <laughs> I, no, I, I, I like that there were a variety of people at the meeting and that um, like, like you said, it was very positive overall, but I thought that, um, it, to me, it's always nice to hear from people that you don't see at all the meetings and suggestions and saying, hey, that's kind of neat, and would you try this? It seemed to be more, um, I don't want to use the word gracious, but really like, hey, didn't know you did this type of thing, and it was really nice that very often we are out and about in the community, and this idea was a great suggestion. We had a lot of people, some people I've never seen before, so I think, what well, you're saying, it's a neat idea, and it was great to hear from them. Yeah. Nothing but you said, but I, I like that when you get when you when a lot of people in the community are represented, it's kind of neat. Thank you, Lisa. And now back by popular demand is Mr. Bill Bowie to tell us about our personnel committee meeting that was held earlier this evening. We had a personnel committee meeting this evening at six thirty. We went right into closed session. We discussed what we had to discuss. The matter that was discussed was uh, there was a consensus to move it forward to the full board, and we will take it up later. Thank you. Now, Mr. Thomas, also earlier this evening, we had a finance committee meeting. Yep, a um, couple of main things. First of all, we went through the um, January monthly numbers. Uh, no huge surprises. Uh, revenue, certainly tax revenue, is up. Um, uh, interest revenue is up. Both of those are healthier than projected. Um, uh, lower than projected is things like the pool um, uh, drop-ins, as well as rental for the theater space because the rest of the community players canceled the show. And that had a pretty substantial um, that impact on our uh, revenue on, on that front. Um, as well as some of the um, uh, lifelong learning stuff also there. But all of those being down do not compensate for how much up the tax revenue and interest revenue are. We will certainly outperform our top line on revenue in aggregate. Uh, we have already done so and we will continue to do so over the next, uh, I think it's five months that's, uh, that's uh, still to come. Um, so that's very healthy. Uh, personnel costs are going to end up being down a bit. Operating costs are going to end up being a little bit higher than usual. 
because of inflation. It's, it, so it's funny because we have personnel costs that we talked about as well. Operating costs are actually up probably primarily because of personnel costs because uh, from uh, contractors that we bring in, right? So they pass them on their personnel costs to us. So some of those costs are going to be a little bit up. We will still end up in aggregate on the downside on our expenses. but um, And then um, uh, when it comes to capital projects, luckily we had savings from the natatorium renovation. Mm -hmm. And so that helped us work through some uh, some other issues. So uh, and all of that stuff seems to come along pretty well. Uh, we also went through a bunch of increased uh, expenditures that are going to be hitting the fiscal year 24 carryover. Um, uh, things like the bigger footprint for the multicultural festival, some uh, personnel costs in terms of some uh, uh, adjustments there. Um, and then a few other things, uh, website utility costs and a few other uh, relatively minor things. We'll get more detail on that when we hit the carryover time, uh, but it was good to get sort of a heads up on these increased costs that will be coming through as we approach carryover time. Uh, and then we just talked briefly about some things that will be coming in the future, uh, including an energy audit by the company, uh, company that does um, some solar stuff, but we'll get some hopefully very targeted ideas about how we can um, uh, save some money on that. Um, and that's pretty much it from the finance committee meeting. Maybe we will get the written summary for the very brief next meeting that we will have. <laughs> yes, very brief. Thank you very much. Now our next order of business is the approval of so the moved. form. Second. <laughs> hey, yeah, there's there's a second order in favor. Uh, 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 Next order of business is the board member input on activities attended since we were lost together. Let's start with Mr. Penniman. Well, I had COVID. I had oh. plans to go to New Zealand. Oh no. The COVID survived. The trip did not. Oh, no. And uh, basically, I didn't, I mean, local activities, community activities, but I wasn't doing other than the meetings that we talked about. That's right, that's a shame. It's all right, but had we gone, we would have arrived just as the uh, category <laughs> <Okay>. three uh, <laughs> oh, cyclone right. hit oh. and wiped out the first two oh places we were, we were supposed to spend about the first five, six, seven days at. They got wiped out, so really, COVID wasn't so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Aaron. Well, of course, I attended the um, the uh, big public meeting, and uh, I was supposed to attend the meeting yesterday, but I forgot. <laughs> I literally forgot. And um, other than that, it was mostly my own course uh, in sort of the history of the Western U.S. seemed to have gone very well. Kept over 200 people over four weeks, That's uh, amazing. which is unusual. Uh, other than that, that's about it, except for uh, local traffic. I did. I did. <laughs> I watched a lot of this. No How do you do that? Babysitting the little one? None of that right now. No basketball? Winter break, right? Lisa? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I attended the community meeting, and like I said a few minutes ago, really enjoyed that. It was kind of neat to hear from new people in the community. I also, um, at the beginning of this week, participated in South Bank's um, High School Ethics Day, which is the second year in a row. It's virtual. I'd love to be in person, but they do it virtually for different reasons. They said part of it should have been here to space. But um, we know it's a, um, RCC is a big funder and supporter for over 30 years, I said. So it's really a neat partnership. But um, I will just share, I did, um, this is the second year I've done the unconscious bias segment. Um, and it's really neat to, uh, I, like I said, I wish I could see some of the kids, but uh, when I um, started talking, like getting questions, a lot of questions that came into the chat room, but um, sharing with people how I do an identity exercise. Um, and I just told them it's really important that your ethnicity tells you more about a person than the race. Sometimes the race is so physically, but it doesn't really tell you what, about the person. 
And so I said, well, you know, sometimes get in touch with who you are, where you're from, just threw that question out there. And it kept going. And people sat from here and started sharing stuff. And there were about 165 kids on, on the call. And several keep on going. And one with the next one, they go, well, it's really important. This is what it means related to my religion. And so it was really kind of neat. I'm looking forward to being in person. But um, uh, when I do my diversity and equity workshop, the younger, all ages really participate well. But um, I find preteens and teens, it's really are out there. When you get them, get them a chance to talk about who they are, they really shine. So I miss not seeing them. You could just, I mean, literally the chat was lighting up. Like, Wait, can we have this thing? So it was neat. So I'm looking forward to being in person. So I think that was it. It just seems like we just met February 6th. But, um, mm-hmm. and I've got to say, the other thing, I reason why I didn't do other things, I welcomed my second grandchild. So I was uh, yeah. thinking of grandma. Yeah. So it's kind of fun. And everyone's, yeah, thank you for the masses. Oh, everyone's mm-hmm. doing well. It's, a, it's an exciting thing. Definitely the best club to be in. <laughs> Lots of me. Lots of me. <laughs> Lots of me. Although I, I sat in my first uh, Park Authority board meeting in 15 years that I was not the chair. Wow. And it was fascinating to be a bump on the law and sit there and have to say nothing. Which is cool. Wow. Uh, but, but the new chair will be be good. He got off to a an exciting start. He was wow. Needless to say. Um, I also served on a selection committee for Arts Fairfax in picking arts organizations that have applied for pandemic funding. And so uh, that was that was neat. I had to recuse myself um, from some of the applications, including the rest of Corral and uh, public art rest in where I'm the vice chair. Uh, and we were judging nine different applicants. And it was kind of kind of crazy because I intimately knew eight of the nine who was the landlord at their location for a couple of them. So I tried to restrain myself <laughs> as best I could, not giving away all the information. And now I'm serving with Lila on the executive search committee for leadership Fairfax and their new executive director. The announcement will come out tomorrow. Ah. And Karen Cleveland will be stepping Stepping down. down. And we will be looking for a new executive director. Other than that, nothing happened. Let's see, so actually, first the uh, secondary stuff. Um, uh, not I, but Maggie, by the way, my daughter is in here five days a week working in the pool. So oh, it's, I started. Yeah. Yeah, well, no, um, uh, it's doing, um, she's a coach. Swim so it's, uh-huh. it's swim team stuff, but it's also a lot of this, like, the stuff like five and six year olds. And anyway, so it's, anyway, so she's in here all oh, the time. Oh, RSTA. Yeah, yeah. And, and she I said that, like, she and a friend of hers always, um, like, they said that they uh, salute my pictures on the way out. Like, like it's funny, but like that's like a I'm just like, like you demand, right? Well, no. um, uh, and she was in your session for Ethics Day, mm-hmm. and uh, and I yeah, saw other yeah, because she was senior, so she was in your session for Ethics mm-hmm. Day. She said you did a great job. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I also went to the pre-assessment concert for South Lakes High School um, Symphonic Band and Wind Ensemble. Mm-hmm. And there I saw other kids who have been to Epic State. And it's funny because I was walking along, I was just taking care of stuff, and I heard kids talking about your session. Oh, really? And uh, anyway, so I had to sort of be above all. Oh, that's obviously cool, went, I obviously went that. amazingly. Um, uh, also, South Lake's a uh, bunch of uh, basketball games, and I haven't seen an update on how they're doing in the state tournament. Um, obviously, the, um, uh, the big public meeting, I was at that. Um, I was also at the Leadership Fairfax Awards. Um, which was here, which was good to see. Uh, one of um, an assistant principal from West Springfield High School uh, won an award, which was uh, interesting. That's where uh, that's the first school which my mother taught when she was in the county. Um, and Pat Harity was there, and my mom, bo- like Pat Harity, was there during the time my mom was. Oh my gosh! So Pat Harity graduated in '76, I think he said, and my mom was there until '78. So anyway, 
Um, and then I saw a trio safari yesterday and the volunteer appreciation uh, thing, which was uh, lovely. Oh, and uh, uh, on an unrelated note, if you live in Rest Association bounds, please vote in the RA election. Uh, I don't care for whom you vote. What I care about is not having to pay for the election twice. So please, <laughs> uh, you need to vote so that we hit quorum. So we don't, even if it's an uncontested election, we still have to vote so we don't have to hold it again because it costs money to hold it. And that's it for me. I know it's a long list, I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, let's see, I attended the community session, and to piggyback off of Dick and Lisa, it was, I saw some new faces that I hadn't met before, so it was good to see so many people and hear, hear their feedback on RCC. I attended the Lucia Fairfax Awards, and there were some pretty amazing individuals up there who accomplished a lot in, in the North Virginia region, so it was nice to hear their stories. And then today, I attended um, the topping off of the next phase of Reston Station, Reston Road. So we actually had to go to the top of the office building, which is completely oh, nice. built up. Oh, Obviously, there's a lot more to be done, but we got to sign the beam, and they dropped that last wow, that's cool. on on the roof. Oh, cool. That's cool. Um, you what I, what, what's that? You weren't afraid? <laughs> no, they had a freight elevator, and they, oh, okay, they cool. jammed us in there, and we got <laughs> But it was one incredible to see because they had held a luncheon for all the employees on the site. And when we had come down, everybody was eating. I mean, the, the, the construction workers. And there must have been 500 people on that oh site gosh. alone. Yeah. In that one area. Amazing. You just don't see because they're in different right. levels right. and they're yeah. around. Right. But to see everybody in one expansive room Not was bad. cool. And then also to hear that out of that entire next phase, the big hole that we know that is there now. Um, they've already leased all of their retail space, 160,000 wow. oh. square feet, even though some of it's not going to deliver until 2026. It's already fully leased. Sure. So that was just interesting to me because I know retail is obviously struggling, struggling yeah. since the yeah. pandemic. So it was, it was cool. Shane, wow. I thought that that building was going to be at least in part a hotel. No, uh, hotel. The tallest, the, the tallest one that is is almost built out from a structural standpoint is up. The one next to it is the hotel. Yeah, so yeah. I guess they celebrate each, each yes. accomplishment. So cool. that's about it. Can I have one? Go yes. Uh, so just because I was, uh, when you mentioned the uh, same people you hadn't seen at the public meeting, one of the people I saw that I did know was Marco Rando, and uh, he's an art teacher at South Lakes. Um, but I'm already giving him condolences because his father, Guy Rando, passed away recently. Oh. So Guy Rando. Uh, it's just someone who was very uh, active in the community, provided a lot of really uh, amazing uh, ideas. Um, my favorite, actually, just to talk about Reston Station, was the, I think we call it the Hanging Gardens of Rando, because uh, he had uh, uh, thought about the idea of getting um, air rights over the, uh, the toll road, and sort of, and he had these, these really amazing ideas for what could be done for a garden in public space over the um, over the toll road. Anyway, so but Guy Rando passed away, so I just wanted to Okay, I did I, I did <laughs> I did just I did everything you all did, so I'll only mention the things you didn't. Um, the Terry Lynn Carrington concert. Oh yes. She was awesome. That was really as a profession she was my, awesome. my biggest problem with that was I wanted to ask Mark they did their sound. It was a very interesting technical experience. But they were too loud. They, there's, the PD and I talked about it, and he thinks that they're, well, first of all, she's a percussionist. So when you feature a percussionist, everybody has to, their volume has to come up, and so. Not really. Well, anyway. <laughs> because uh, I loved listening to her. <coughs> I wanted them, they were nice. But yeah. they were too loud. It was a very tricky, it was a tricky, because there were two sound mixes. There was a monitor yeah. mix for the musicians, and there was a, a mix for the house. And this house is so small, and this theater is so small, that any time you have two full mixes, it's too much, too much. Mm -hmm. noise. Yeah. 
It was, I had earplugs for the entire thing. Um, the, uh, I carried them in my purse at all times. Um, I, re I remember going on I will say this though, Terry Lynn Carrington, if you get the Sunday New York Times, big huge quarter page ad featured at Carnegie Hall last wow. week in the, in the arts season preview section. Yeah. So, well, she's a, she's a big deal. <laughs> well, she's a big deal and <laughs> she was here. Yeah, um, that's what I mean. <laughs> yeah, they, but I liked listening to her, and we couldn't understand the words to any of the songs. Yeah, okay. mm -hmm. yeah. And poor and poor Minda, I made Minda feel better because Minda said, "I said, Minda, I can't hear either." <laughs> so, so, so let's just move on. <laughs> Not making an issue, right? And um, there was, I went to a concert. Um, our musical director at the church. Who will, I, who will be, I think, the feature artist with the orchestra, either this concert or the next one, um, uh, is in another group, I think, called Paco. And they did a concert of um, music by black composers, some I had never heard of before, French ones and the whole thing, and it was fantastic. It was great, and it was great that there were more people at that concert than go to church on Sunday. Um, <laughs> and um, as as Esme's basketball season has ended, they yeah. came in second place, and she didn't care. And it was good because the other team would have cried for the entire day. Oh, oh, oh. But, she, but her team is just still having fun. There's no crying in basketball. Oh. <laughs> but her cookie season is not over. We're not bought yes. ten, book, 10 boxes of cookies yesterday. Yes, and they will be coming in soon, and I will give and them to you. They need to be personally delivered, as stated on the website. Yes, <laughs> yes, because she needs to see me. Too. She needs to see me. Yes. <laughs> the next order of business is the executive director's report. Uh, okay, well, you have the report. Um, we've been uh, making repairs in our facility. Uh, we took. Um, Rochelle Rice, who was the soloist with the Mark G. Meadows concert for MLK Weekend, for those of you who saw that, we took her to Langston Hughes and South Lakes, and she entertained a total of a thousand students in February. Um, we also are working on the Generations Rise Reston performances. Those are on March 24th and 25th, and we have Ping Chong who just received the Lifetime Achievement Award, Obi Award, and he will be here Wednesday, March 15th. Um, our tax aid program, a hugely popular program, is in full swing. And this year we offered a free tax aid prep class that was well attended. Um, we hosted the Lions Club annual music competition, the Land music competition. That is the name of the composer the competition honors James Bland, who is a black composer and wrote the Virginia State song. Composed the Virginia State song. Um, we have two new yoga classes starting this spring. Um, we have a hybrid current issues discussion group meeting every other week. I, I want to extend our appreciation for all of you, especially Paul, who really jumped in and did your due diligence on the website. Um, they worked through, uh, we've gotten in excess of 300 feedback items, most of them relatively minor. Uh, when, when you copy over from the old website to the new website, you generally end up sweeping up a bunch of dead links. So. You have to go back through and find all those dead links and, and take care of them. But it seems to be performing well, and once we've worked out every single kink and bug, we'll launch it uh, officially in the world. I think most of the people I've spoken to really like the, the design, and it's so clear and easy to navigate and simple, and um, so we're pleased with that. Um, Kaia Green has started. For those of you who were at the volunteer event yesterday, you met her. She was with Maggie handing out the certificates, and uh, we'll have her come to the 6.30 um, 
staff and board conversation about the new programming in a week. Um, and uh, we think another five staff positions will be affected by the second phase of the pay compression study, and that should take effect a little bit before the end of the fiscal year. So we'll see how that turns out. And I go to a lot of meetings. Uh, too. <laughs> <laughs> Next order of business, is there any co re continuing business? <laughs> I just want to say too, it was great to see your mother yesterday at the concert. That was nice to see. No, no continuing business, is there new business? There is new business. Oh my, uh, is there? Yes, Tell there us. is. And it calls for a closed session. Okay. So uh, some people um, are everybody needs to be dismissed, except for the board. Yes, mm -hmm. but we need to capture we on the recording the right. motion. So I would like to make a motion to move into closed session. <laughs> you don't need to say one. <coughs> say it. Just say there we go. second. Just say second. Second. Second? Second. <laughs> All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. That motion carries. Okay, the board, we'll, we'll leave now. The board will convene and recess into a closed session for the discussion and consideration of matters enumerated in Virginia Code 2.23711 and listed in the agenda for this meeting as follows. Discussion or consideration of personnel matters pursuant to Virginia Code 2.2-3711A1. <laughs> okay. 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 I'd like to make a motion to come out of closed session. Second. I'd make a motion that the board certify that to the best of its knowledge, only public business matters lawfully exempted from the open meeting requirements and only such public business matters as were identified in the motion by which the closed session was convened were heard, discussed, and considered by the board during the closed session. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. That motion carries. I'd like to make the motion that the chair of the Board of Governors and the chair of the Personnel Committee proceed to bring the matter discussed during the closed session to the appropriate Fairfax County officials for a review. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. Ms. Madam Chairman, that is the end of the new business. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Look at the reminders at the bottom so that you won't miss a meeting when you're getting your calendar now. And the um, March 6th 2023 meeting is now adjourned. Thank you.